Bruce. You're Bruce Wayne's from the Batman series. You think this is done by accident? No way. That is Bruce Wayne's grandfather, Mrs. Cooper. His great grandfather. I understand he was tapped for skull and bones. Tapped for it? Sir, he founded skull and bones. I understand he was tapped for skull and bones. Tapped for it? Sir, he founded skull and bones. I understand he was tapped for skull and bones. Tapped for it? Sir, he founded skull and bones. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go wild. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the web. Number 322. <laughs> you both were members of Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322, a secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Tim. Look, I look for you. I hate the No, I'm not going to lose. The face of NBC's long-running Meet the Press has died. NBC News says he had suffered an apparent heart attack. Tim Rustert was 58 years old. So through our tears, let us know the blessings of knowing and loving you a great and noble man, the best father a son or daughter could have. And in our grief, let us smile knowing that dad is hugging Robin and holding mom's hand again. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the U.S. I warn you, if you make any further inquiries, or if you say a single word to anyone about what you have seen, there will be the most dire consequences for you and your family. Understand. Skull and bones. Accept or reject. Accept. of secrecy. You have been chosen to become members of America's most secret society. For over a hundred years, Skull and Bones members have included a president, vice presidents, Supreme Court justices, congressmen and senators, captains of science and industry, 
the very best of America. Revoir de Tour, the advisor, the better or the advisor, or war or right. Take it personally. Getting is personal, Mr. Russell. I take it very personal. Edward, we're all in this together. Come back inside. We're brothers for life. Tell us, Mr. Wilson, brother to brother, something you've never told anyone before. Your most guarded secret. Something you will need to trust us with. There's also real-life billionaire superheroes like Elon Musk. And somehow I completely missed the fact that his X symbol forms a perfect Masonic compass. Nothing to it, I'm sure. It's just a coincidence. And this is Twitter staff a couple years ago. Oh, you know, just casually flashing the one eye symbolism, that's all. And when I'm talking about superheroes, I don't just have in mind grown men in spandex suits that look ridiculous. That's aimed at the youth. You're fantastic. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea for an electric jet. You do. Yeah. Then we'll make it work. <laughs> because in today's world, the super... No matter how far this thing goes, I need to know that we're good. Because of what just happened here is happening everywhere. We need to get to that bunker Danny told us about, and we need to get there now. What are you talking about? You know something. I had a sneaking suspicion, but I wanted more information first. All sides were there, sure, but I... I didn't want to scare anyone. You would have called me crazy, because it is crazy. It would have made more sense if we were on the brink of an all-out invasion. But this... I didn't think we'd actually let something like this happen. I thought we were smarter than that. But what happened? Because my primary client works in the defense sector, I spent a lot of time studying the cost-benefit analysis of military campaigns. There was one program in particular that terrified my client the most. A simple three-stage maneuver that could topple a country's government from within. The first stage was isolation. Disable their communication and transportation. Make the target as deaf, dumb, and paralyzed as possible setting them up for the second stage. Synchronized chaos. Terrorize them with covert attacks and misinformation. Overwhelming their defense capabilities, leaving their weapon systems vulnerable to extremists in their own military. Without a clear enemy or motive, people would start turning on each other. If done successfully, the third stage would happen on its own. What's the third stage? Civil War. Collapse. This program was considered the most cost-effective way to destabilize a country. Because if the target nation was dysfunctional enough, it would, in essence, do the work for you. Whoever started this wants us to finish it. I want.